Welcome to the 10-Minute Life Lesson Podcast. My name is Jay Cleveland Payne. I train people for improved personal and professional development, offering my assistance to those ready to develop their goals into tangible, focused, and achievable plans of action. And this podcast is one of the tools I use to accomplish my mission. Generally, when the timer hits 9 minutes and 59 seconds on this recording, you'll have a fully developed life lesson that you can take with you and begin to implement immediately. And if this week's lesson has a ring of familiar, then it's probably a reinforcement of a life change you've already started to implement. This podcast falls under the umbrella of my greater personal development efforts, all under the Your Better You brand. For more information on accountability coaching or to gain access to tools, tricks, and life hacks, visit yourbetteryou.info. Thank you for joining me on this journey today. Now, here is this week's life lesson. Greetings from the studio. Hopefully you are enjoying or will enjoy this episode and you did enjoy the last episode because something very important happened in the last two episodes or this one and the last episode and going forward, we hope, and in a large batch of episodes in between, essentially uh, two or three into the relaunch as the 10 minute life lesson. I got lazy. Yes, I got lazy and we all get lazy on things and don't want to do things that we know we should do. But I got lazy on something that was extremely simple to do. Actually, let me take that back. It was extremely simple to do, but still a little bit of a of a minor headache to get to get into. What did I do that was so easy yet so hard that's making a big difference on things? I decided I needed to wear my headphones when I was recording in the studio. That's simple. I needed to wear my headphones when recording anyway, but in the big studio, I needed to wear my headphones and look like a professional. Now, this actually came about from doing some work. Now that it's the fall, I'm back doing some extra production work, and I'm producing for some more live shows and realizing that, yes, I need to not be so lazy and wear my headphones for better mixes in the studio setting so I can hear all the intricacies of what's going on in between all the levels and all the sources. From there... I decided maybe I should do the same thing for these monologues because I'm sitting in a studio. Because since I'm sitting in a room by myself and talking to myself, there should be no issues to going along. And most of the time, the biggest issues are caught, caught very quickly. If a phone goes off, vibrating or on alert, I can hear it going off and I stop and fix it. But that's not exactly the best way to do things. Because I have on my headphones... I can hear everything that's coming through the microphone, not just everything in the room. I can focus on what I'm doing, and more importantly, I can hear the words that are coming out of my mouth, not hear the words I think are coming out of my mouth, because there's a difference in hearing things coming through your ears and the hearing of your own voice through your head. Technically, when you're talking, not even technically, when you're talking to someone, when you hear yourself talk, you're not hearing your voice projected forward. Because your ears are behind you. You're hearing a vibration coming from your ears and your mouth and your jaw. So you're not hearing your true voice. So for a better voice, for a better transmission, and for a better product, I have been wearing headphones. Now, why is this even worth of talking about in a lesson? Because there's some back and forth about the small things. Getting the small things in. The small things don't really matter. Or the big things matter so much that the small things can get pushed aside. What you're going to find out when you're looking for things that are really of quality and of need to have more of a quantity is that there are small, intricate little things that make it that much better. There's a reason why you pay big money for a brand name, not just because you want to be seen with a brand name, but that brand name is also projecting a level of quality that should not be matched by the lower level. In some cases, they don't really matter, and what you're doing is paying a little extra for a brand name. But in the perception, or at least in most cases where they should be, the brand name means there's something special about that thing you're getting. And whatever it is that makes it special, they want to make sure it stays special so you get that. When you're working with a person as a coach, as I do, I don't have as much cachet as a Tony Robbins does or a Gary Vaynerchuk does, or those types of people. But 
I still offer something to my clients that make me stand out versus the other people. And it makes me stand out versus those people. One thing is the fact that I'm not as expensive as those people, and hopefully I offer just the right amount of quality to them to make it worth the deal. They don't have to spend extra amounts of money to get something very good, but I believe that my quality and my prices are at a premium enough to let people know that they're going to get something pretty good, and that's how that works there. Now, how does that work out? A lot of it is with the little things. Because I'm on a slightly lower level, I'm not dealing with the higher-end clients that those big guys are. So I have more time to work with the little guys at the moment as they work to become the big guys that sooner or later can pay the big money for those big-type guys to lead them. But in the meantime, I offer up plenty of great perks for them to be with me. I give them plenty of attention. I give them all the extras that I can. I make sure that all the little details in the planning that we're working on are in place and are useful. Something as small as putting on my headphones so that I can listen to the actual recording in real time makes it much easier for me to do in post-production because I'm looking for less mess-ups in the middle and I can hear what's going through so I know when things I can go along. If something buzzes to the side, I don't have to go looking for it because I know whether it's in the mic or not. That may not be the larger part of the lesson here, but to you, it comes down to the little things. Are you willing to do the little things that make a big difference? Are you not going to settle for just not skipping corners and putting in the extra effort to go those extra miles that are necessary to get there? What are you willing to actually give up and sacrifice to get to the bigger things uh, by doing the little intricate things? Do you offer just a little extra support, a little extra time, a second, third, fourth glance to make sure that everything is just as it needs to be before you leave? so that the next crew can take things on at the top level? And conversely, are they doing the same thing? Are you doing what you can to be a part of the team so that you and the rest of the members can operate on a great level, or are you just basically showing up, getting your job done, and moving along? The little things tend to be little for a reason. They tend to not need much effort in the grand scheme of things. They tend to be overlooked as a part of the basic need. So often you're not really putting much effort into even thinking about little things, let alone doing those things that can make a difference. Because to most people, they seem like they don't make a real big difference. There's no real need to put effort into them because there's no real need for them. But you will find fairly quickly once you start putting in the extra effort, which doesn't seem to be much extra effort once you start looking at it, you'll see how much greater the output will be. I keep going back to just something simple as recording this recording. It sounds so much better in my ears as I'm recording it straight to you than it does just hoping it sounds great in the recording without the headphones. It doesn't seem like it means that much, but this episode and the last episode, the quality of the sound, the quality of the editing, the major quality of it all came from something as little as having the thought process of just taking my headphones out of their bag and plugging them in, as opposed to the two and a half minutes maybe that was saved by not taking my headphones out of the bag and saved on the back end and putting them back in the bag when all said and done. Because it's the proper tool for the proper job that helps things go better, and it does. Trust me on that. You can let us know when you talk to us in your comments, but it's really about setting yourself up for the grandest, the greatest, the most awesome example of a win that you can do, and sometimes it's the little things. People talk about John Wooden and his initially going over how to put in your socks every single season for his teams. Although these kids were essentially great level players when they got there, he went over the basics, the little things. John Wooden is the most legendary coach in the, known to, to man, and if he thought it was so important to make sure you knew how to put in your socks so that your feet wouldn't be messed up, so that you could play much longer and have much more effect on the court, then you might want to think about that. Don't put in the fact me talking about me and my headphone thing. Think about what the little things really do mean to the big picture. The little things always matter. And the more thought and effort you put into those little things, the better things will turn out each time, guaranteed.
Thank you for listening to this week's podcast. You might be amazed how something as simple as me putting on headphones really does make a difference, but it's amazing. I even feel better doing the podcast because I feel like I'm actually doing the professional thing, wearing my headphones and doing the work as it is and not slacking off because, as I said, it saved me two and a half minutes of opening a bag, pulling out headphones, pulling out a cable, plugging them into the headphones, the board, and working on. It's that simple. It really was, is that simple in adding to my feel in doing this. So hopefully the podcast sounds better because audio quality wise, there's that. And me being more professional, you know, makes me puff up my chest a little bit. There you go. If you want to get into more information about how I can help you go over what little things or big things you're not doing that do matter, check out the website, yourbetteryou.info, and click on coaching so that we can sign up for some sort of deal, whether it's individual coaching, whether you just need accountability, or whether you want to join a group to talk about your issues. Of course, we have two podcasts attached to Your Better You. The original one for the website, which is Steps Your Better You, which is only 90 seconds, and this one, the 10-minute life lesson, both find those both at yourbetteryou.info on their podcast. You can contact me via the website or you can contact me via email for this project. That address is, of course, yourbetteryouinfo at gmail.com. Find me for everything else I got going on at jclevenpain.net and just be around on the internet for more things coming this way. We're on Facebook. We're on Twitter. You can look for everything under Your Better You. Just search for those. You'll find it on both of those. Also on Instagram as well. Let us know what we can do for you so we can do more of it. And, of course, what I need you to do for me is subscribe to the podcast and make sure you're listening and, po- and downloading every single week so we know that you're out there. We know who you are out there and respond to us so we can know more about you. Whether you're looking for coaching or just conversation, we can make that work out. In the meantime, be ready next week for another episode. It will be an episode, and it should be great. Definitely won't sound much greater because I'm going to wear headphones while doing the editing and doing the recording. It's another episode of the 10-Minute Life Lesson Podcast, which comes to you, of course, from yourbetteryou.info.